My name is Nara Ibarretxe Bilbao and I'm a teacher and researcher at the Faculty of Psychology at the University of Deusto. Uh, well, um, the 16th of May we had a meeting with the Club Roma G30 and we had to talk about the functioning of the brain. In this talk, uh, we looked at the way the, the brain works, the structures, the functions, how, how, and how can we change the, the structures and the functions of the brain with the learning, with learning new things. So, um, first we had a look to all the functions, like to the occipital lobe, the way that we can see, the temporal lobe, the area that we use to listen, the frontal lobe, the area that is most, more different compared to the, other, to the other animals, because we have almost the same brain, but this area, the prefrontal cortex, is uh, mostly the, the thing that is more different with the other, comparing to the other animals. Because that we have the abstract thinking, the adaptation to social norms, and and these kind of things. So after having a look to the structure, we had a look to the functions. Uh, the functions are the cognitive functions are attention, memory, visual spatial, visual perceptive functions, for example. I think that the most important one is the attention because it's transversal to the other cognitive functions. Because if we don't pay attention to things, then it's impossible that we can remember those things later. So, and each of these functions uh, has a, a different neural correlate. So, it's uh, localized this function in different uh, way in different areas of the brain. And finally, in the talk, we, we had a brief overview of the plasticity of the brain. Because we have a plastic brain and we can do our best to make our brain to function the, better, the best, you know? So, uh, with neuroimaging techniques, now we can see the way this brain can change with learning. For example, it was really famous, the study that was made with the taxi drivers from London, and we see how the hippocampus of those taxi drivers was bigger in volume, because they had this memorized uh, process to be a taxi driver. So we can see that, because of having made that effort of learning all the streets of London, then they had a bigger hippocampus that is the structure involved in memory. So the same we are trying to do something similar here in Bilbao with two projects or, uh, of the Basque government that uh, what we do is uh, with our patients we put them in the, in the MRI magnetic resonance and we can see how the brain is functioning. Then during three months we do cognitive rehabilitation with those patients and then after those three months we again uh, acquire those images of the brain to see if there were changes before the first acquisition and the second acquisition to see if with that cognitive rehabilitation process during three months there have been changes or not. And what we are seeing there are that preliminary results, but what we are seeing is that there are changes. So even in neurodegenerative diseases, there is a chance to change that brain and that process of neurodegeneration. So in healthy brains, we can assume that it's even greater that power, and the more we use our brain, the better we will be, and the better our cognitive functions will be. Thank you very much, Naroa. Thank you.